Hi, this is David Abakchitl. Welcome to video 3D, which is the fourth of four devoted to the topic of markets and products for the 2012 Financial Risk Manager exam. That means we finish with assignments in topic three, including two readings on commodities and commodity forwards that overlap with the prior assignment on John Hull. And then finally, foreign exchange from Anthony Sanders and corporate bonds from Fabozzi. As usual, associated learning spreadsheets, although all of these, for exam purposes, I've tagged with low relevance. McDonald Chapter 6 in Commodity Forwards and Futures reappears from prior years and starts with asking us to define a forward strip or a forward curve. So this is as of a point in time, June 2008. You'll recall there's always a spot price, which is the price we would um, need to pay in order to receive the commodity on the spot. There's only typically one spot price if we sort of abstract the fact that there's a bid-ask spread. However, there's several forward or futures price in this case, um, one for each future date. And by the way, in, for purposes of these forward curves, we tend to use forward and futures synonymously. So this is historically a crude oil futures curve, but it's okay to say it's a forward curve. Of course, we know that these are futures contracts and that, um, that te technically that difference typically matters to us. The future is exchange traded and the forward contract would be over the counter. So that futures would have high liquidity, low basis risk, um, maybe better price discovery of the forward contract. Over the counter would be lower liquidity, lower basis risk. However, for purposes here of the valuation and the forward curve, we tend to use them synonymously. So the historically, then there was a spot prices of June 2008 for crude oil, for the commodity, however that specifications were defined. And then there would be a set of futures prices on ver on for each given future date when when a commitment could be made a promise to either buy or sell on the future date so collectively that set of futures prices constitutes what we call a forward curve this would be inverted so you may recall from hull that technically we would say that's in backwardation because the forward or futures price here is lower than the spot price as we go further out, the forward price becomes lower and lower. You may also recall that one inference we can draw from that, possibly, depending on the model, is that there's high convenience yield because that convenience yield pulls these futures prices down. So McDonald makes the point that we can create a synthetic commodity position by combining a, combining a forward and a bond. In other words, one thing we can do is just invest in crude oil. So if the price of crude oil goes up in the future, that may be, you know, net of storage costs, that may be a gain to us. But we can synthetically in invest by taking a long position in a forward contract, and which that forward contract, aside from margin or collateral, would not be funded, so we could take the same proceeds and invest them in a bond. So a forward contract plus a bond investment is a synthetic equivalent to just investing in the spot. Thematically, I hope you recall, that's a big difference for us in terms of investing in the cash markets that would be connoted over here on the right and investing in the derivatives market. Big difference is funding and leverage, which are closely related. If we purchase crude oil today, we need to fund that purchase, use our cash. The derivatives market though, abstracting or from a set from collateral or margin which are important are generally unfunded and so they give us a leveraged exposure and so we're asked to explain this relationship between the forward price and the expected future spot price so here's McDonald's sort of variation and this is potentially confusing because we're go we've gone from the cost of carry model which you recall represents the forward price as a function of the spot price and any cost to carry the commodity, as opposed to this formula here. This is not growing the spot price, is it? This is